Hello everyone. In this paper, Bundle Adjusted Diebler Neural Radiance Fields, we propose a photometric bundle adjustment formulation for motion blurred images by jointly learning the 3D representation and optimizing camera poses with blurry images and inaccurate initial poses. It achieves superior performance over prior works on both synthetic and real datasets. Given a series of posed high-quality images, NERF can learn the 3D scene representation and synthesize novel view images, as shown in the videos. The two prerequisites of the inputs are high-quality images and accurate camera poses. This is an overview of NERF. Given an image and its corresponding camera pose, many rays are shot from the camera. Then, many points are sampled along the ray and the points represent 3D coordinates. After this sampling, Colors, volume densities of these points are obtained by inputting the 3D coordinates and 2D view directions to an MLP network. The final rendered color of a pixel is calculated by the volume rendering function. To summarize, NERF optimizes the network parameters by minimizing the photometric loss. However, what if the training images are with degradation, for example, motion blur? NERF usually assumes the training images are sharp. Thus, motion blurred images violates this assumption and the accurate camera poses are also hard to obtain from blurry images due to the difficulties of detecting and matching salient key points. Here we show the result of the vanilla NERF which is trained with blurry inputs. This page shows our physical motion blur image formation model. The physical image formation process of a digital camera can be modeled mathematically as the integral of a set of virtual sharp images, which can be discreetly approximated by the following formulation. This is the pipeline of our bad NERF. We build the motion blur model in NERF by parametering two camera poses, start and end poses of a camera trajectory within the exposure time. Then we represent the camera motion trajectory by a linear model or cubic B spline model in the SE3 space. For more details, please see our supplementary material. Finally, the parameters of the network and the motion trajectories are jointly optimized by maximizing the photometric consistency between the synthesized blurry images and real blurry images. Table 1 and Table 2 are respectively the quantitative deblurring and novel view synthesis comparisons on the synthetic datasets of deblurnerf. The experimental results demonstrate that our method achieves the best performance over prior methods. It also demonstrates that the Diebler nerf is sensitive to the accuracy of the provided camera poses. Our bad nerf achieves the best performance under inaccurate poses on various scenes and different levels of blur. Since Diebler nerf does not explicitly model occlusions, it fails to render sharp edges with large depth variations, as shown in the results in the second column. The experimental results demonstrate that our method achieves superior performance over prior methods on the real dataset as well. Best viewed in high resolution. The video demonstrates our method synthesizes novel images of higher quality than prior works. The results demonstrate that our method delivers reasonable performance for camera pose estimations, better than both Colmap and BARF. Thanks for watching.